Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to explore a few identities that involve the divergence and the curl. Our first one is that the divergence of the sum of two vector fields is equal to the divergence of the first vector field plus the divergence of the second vector field. And if you remember what a divergence is, then you can say, well, that makes a lot of sense because the divergence of a vector field is simply the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component of the vector field. And so it shouldn't really matter if we combine two vector fields and then take the divergence or take the divergence first and then combine the results. So we're going to do an example to show you that that indeed works, at least for that example. And it should work, of course, for all examples. Now, let's take the divergence of the vector field that we call the F, and then we have another one called G, so we'll do it separately. So this is equal to, that would be 2XZ, plus the partial derivative with respect to Y here would be 2XY, we'll put the X first, and then here the partial derivative with respect to Z is simply going to be 2. Now we do the same for the partial derivative of the second vector field G, and so we take the partial derivative of this with respect to x, which will give us 3, plus the partial derivative of this with respect to y, that will give us 2xyz. And the partial derivative of this with respect to z, which will give us 2xz. Remember, when you take the partial derivative, all other variables are simply considered to be constants. So now what we're going to do is we have the divergence of f, we have the divergence of g, we're going to add those together. So we have now simply the sum, the divergence of g plus the divergence of f. So when we add these together, we get the following. Let's see here, we have an xz, an xy, we have another xz here. So when we add those together, that gives us 4. So 4 xz's. We have a plus 2xy, here we have a plus 2xyz, and 2 plus 3 gives us 5. So that's the sum of those two divergences. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the two vector fields together and then take the vector field of the sum. So let's see what we get. So f plus g is going to be equal to the sum of these two in the i direction. So that gives us uh, x squared z plus 3x plus y in the i direction. Then we add those two together, so we get y squared x and xy squared z. So that would be plus y squared, and maybe I should parentheses, put parentheses around it like that, that would be better. So plus y squared x plus uh, let's see, xy squared z in the j direction, and it looks like I'm running out of space here, so I'll put the third term over here. So we have plus y plus 2z from the f, and plus xz squared, and that will be in the k direction. So now we have the two vector fields added together. Now we're going to take the divergence of that, and we should get the same result as we have over here. So we take the divergence of f plus g. And that's going to be, well, we take the partial derivative of this with respect to x, so it gives us uh, 2xz plus 3 plus the partial derivative of this with respect to y, which will be 2yx plus 2xyz, and then we'll put it over here because we are out of room. We take the partial derivative of this with respect to z, that'll give us 2 plus 2xz. And I think you're beginning to see why that should be the same result. Let's add these common terms together. We have a 2xz and a 2xz that gives us a 4xz plus a 2yx plus a 2xyz and plus a 2 and a 3 together, that gives us plus 5. And then compare this, we have a 4xz, we have a 2yx or 2xy, that's the same thing, 
a 2xyz and plus 5. So you can see that this equals this, which shows that we just illustrated that when you take the divergence, the divergence of two vector fields first, add it up together, that should be equal to the divergence of the two vector fields summed together. And you can see it does work. And that's what we mean by that first identity.